the, 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 the main comment I want to make about this is, is how much it has been called so many other things other than what it is. Yeah. It's been called him being really angry, it's been called him being really hurt, it's been called him venting. There's just so many euphemisms for, and I've listened to a whole bunch of the recordings of his different tirades that are just vicious. They're disgusting, they're, they're, they're sex, sexually assaultive in their language, they're physically violent in their language. Uh, completely demeaning, blame her for all his own, they're, they're gross, they're just gross, it's gross. It's called her a whore. Now he's making fun of her, he's, he's, Latin. he's crying to make fun of her being upset. So, I think you can hear it. Hitting a woman, hitting a woman, she's saying, Hitting a woman twice in the face while she's holding her baby, and his response is, "Oh, you're angry now." So just completely demeaning and degrading. And then he says, "You effing deserved it." So in effect, he's admitting to, to not only to beating her, but to beating her while she's holding the the child. So, um, so we really wanted to get across the level of hatefulness, the, the, the level of abuse there is in his verbal abuse. Because part of what we, we, we need to sort of push our communities along on is understanding that, that intimate partner violence, domestic violence, is about so much more than the violence. The violence is horrible, it's destructive, it's dangerous, and tragically, it's, it's also just one aspect of so much that's so destructive and so debilitating. The, the level of, of misogyny, and I know there are people who throw that word around wherever they go. I'm not one of them. I actually use that word quite sparingly. But there's no other appropriate term for this tirade against her. Where he's called, where, and the other ones that, 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 and some of them I guess are harder to get. He's managed to bury some of them. Uh, but about three months ago, you could hear them all online, where he calls it the most degrading, names possible, you know, lots and lots of sexual abuse in his, in his verbal stuff, and it's just vile, really, really vile, really destructive stuff. Uh, when you talk to abused women who are some period of time out of the relationship, they will tell you overwhelmingly that what they are left, what's really taking years to heal from is all the psychological assault as awful as the violence was. Unless, the, unless there were sexual assaults, then that also becomes really, really long-lasting in its effects. Uh, but, but what they tend to most emphasize is all the, all the, de the psychological degradation. That stuff is just fair. Once, once he's planted it in your head, it's very, very hard to get it out. And so we, we have an important role to play in our workplaces and schools, and our place in the community, helping spread the understanding of how psychologically destructive the abusers of women are. And the, the conversation tends to keep going back to the violence, particularly by people who are invested in minimizing the whole pattern of behavior. They'll keep saying, oh, well, it's only been a couple of violent incidents, or oh, he only shoved her. Yeah. So now we, we wanted to show you a an image that um, is coming from a really different kind of is coming from a really different kind of place. Oops, oh, 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 I'm sorry, I forgot this one takes a while. Uh, well, actually, let me comment quickly then. If it's the the um, that, that uh, really zeroes in in a much more realistic way 
on, on how a user operates. So it's right next to this. how incredibly vulnerable she feels on discovering herself in the hospital with him hanging right over her. It really shows in her face. Mm -hmm. saying that she was saying bad things about him to other people. That really, that really hurt his feeling. One bad minute, and then he says, "No, not even. I had two bad seconds." All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna stop it just in the interest of time, but but um, but he he goes more into how much she had hurt his feelings, and uh, she ends up apologizing for having hurt his feelings. Uh, she's traumatized. She's lying in a bed. She's vulnerable. She's alone in the room with him. She's been left alone in the room with him. <coughs> Uh, she's she's injured. She's uh, she's flipped out by the whole thing that that happened. Uh, I think this is a really useful kind of image. This is the kind of image that we need to have in media, where we really get to see the abuser lying. We get to see how he manipulates. We get to see how he gets other people to believe him. We get to see how he turns the table so it starts to be about 
how he's how she has hurt him. Uh, we get to see how her trauma is paralyzing and, and confusing her, and how uh, much he can use his, her, the trauma that he has caused. He can then, ironically, tragically, use to his own advantage because then he can use the fact that she's in this vulnerable, traumatized state to control her thinking and 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 control her emotionally, make her feel responsible for him. Uh, so this is this is a specific example from a movie that, uh, of of uh, the the use of uh, the workplace as a target. It's become increasingly popular for abusers to use different strategies to get the woman arrested. Now, I when I started domestic violence, which was 22 years ago, <coughs> I essentially never heard of this happening, but. This has become a trend, and abusers have gotten more and more sophisticated about it, and now I hear about it every time I turn around. I'm hearing a different story about how he got her arrested for all different kinds of things, usually for violence towards him. He manages to set it up to make it look like he was the victim and get her arrested. I'm going to stop in about five minutes, and then we'll have a question period for people who can stick around. Tell police that she had done. Uh, that she had uh, was uh, selling drugs, part of a drug bust. He later got her arrested for uh, throwing a can of paint at his car when he had taken the children and left them with his drug addicted prostitute girlfriend um, in defiance of the custody order, and then managed to get her child charged with child abuse. So she went back to a retrieve the children, he wouldn't do it. She threw a can of paint at the car and got her arrested a second time. So she had two felony convictions as a result. And uh, one thing that Sarah pointed out about this movie that I thought was a really important insight was that uh, it's full of really good like educational images, not colluding images of domestic violence, but without them ever really being named as that. So you still have to be sort of watching it to notice it consciously. So it's just still not, we still don't really talk about it, even in this day and age. We still don't really talk about it. 